No, ma, no, ma, I'm working now. I'm coming in a minute now. Don't worry. Be there in in half an hour. I'm coming. You're not supposed to take anything I don't give you. No, no, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. Go downstairs. I'll be back. No. my sweetheart so you see it right now i change my objective what do i want now i don't want to minimize cost what do i want to do i want to maximize a given flow what do i want to do i want to find out how much can be the maximum amount that I can ship from Fort Lauderdale to Albuquerque? Why do I choose that option? Because that's the most expensive. And if I have to deal with cost, the cost usually may avoid the most expensive case. But I want really to do I want to maximize the most expensive case. Forget about this case and let's go on and think about another flow problem. What is the big flow problem that we have? We are at BMCC. What do I want to do at BMCC? I get Esther, she has 4.0, she's a good student, she's here because she doesn't want to go and spend money somewhere else, but I don't have any problem with her education, she was a valedictorian in her high school, she finished high school, she got a job. Do I really care about Esther's education? No matter what, she's going to do fine. I do want Esther to move on and go ahead. But in all the sincerity, you can leave her alone and she can do it. Why do I care about education at BMCC? I care about myself. Who are you? I didn't know anything about mathematics, anything about computers, anything about English. I was the lowest of the lowest in my class. They picked me up and they said, okay, we want you. Why, guys, you want me and not the good students? Because we want to see what you can be able to do. Can I take someone that is at the lowest point and move to somewhere that is the highest point? Yes, but it's costly. Can I see how much I can do it? Yes, and this is the problem that I have. <clears throat> what happens to the cost? The cost does not disappear. The cost does not disappear. The supply does not disappear. The demand does not disappear. I keep it the way I had it before at the beginning, in the most simple case scenario, balanced. How much I supply, that much I demand. 700 units here, 700 units there. What is happening? My cost. Now my cost is not an objective anymore. What is my cost now? What is my cost now? I'll ask Kalia, what is the meaning of this symbol? Sorry, greater than or equal to? Is greater than or less than? It's less than or equal to. What is the meaning of this This less than equal to? What do you mean, what is the meaning? In, in, in the equation? Meaning, what does this mean? That, that all, the whole given amount before that sign is all less than 4,905. Good. I put a limit a cap, a ceiling to my cost. So what is the cost? Just a moment. 
Siri wants to talk to me. What is the limit? Is that the so limit? Why don't I do a calculation? Before the cost was 3,900. Now I allow more money for my cost. What do I want to know? How much is my difference? This is how much I allow my cost to increase. And then Aliyah would say, yeah, but this extra $195, how much is it in terms of the cost increase? What do I need to do? $195 related to how much the cost was before. This is 120th. And Ali, I would say, yeah, but 120th is not a percentage. I want it in terms of a number, in terms of a percentage. That is 0.05. What is this as a percentage? Jamian says, the cost can go up 5%. Is this clear? So I will ask Erika, if she knows the numbers, she can give me the numbers, she can give me the percentage, and she can go back and forth. What do I say here? I say here that my cost cannot exceed 5% of what the cost was before. Can that be different? Yes. If Aliyah says, make that cost 10%, what that number may be? My number that we had before increased by 10% is going to be this amount, which means I can be able to have higher budget. I can put this number here. As I put this number here, what do I do? I adjust my budget. I can say now I can spend 10% more or 5% more, or I can spend as much as I had before, 3,900. And everything else stays the same. I, I solve it. What do I have? I have what is actually the shipments. But now the shipment is such that I can see what is the maximum amount that I can have at the most expensive flow. Is this related to how much money I spent? or not. In other words, if I go on and I allow the cost to go up 10% and I have this amount, is this going higher up or not? I take this, I paste it. I change its nature, so it's not going to change. And I solve it again. Is this going to make any change or not? If the cost is going to be different, and if the cost is 4095 4, in other words, it goes up only 5%. What is happening? Do I have any difference in the solution? I put that case here and I want to see it. I want to make a comparison. I take the case and I can see what is happening. And I compare one solution versus the other solution. One solution, but I like it a little bit. Another solution that I like it more. With text color, you can take, change the color. Why I put one green and the other blue? 
because this gives me more shipment. How much more? Few units. What it costs? Extra 5%. This is my shipment. It's not my cost. Can I evaluate the cost? Yes, and I should be able to evaluate the cost. I want to see what is happening with my shipments. Now, in all the cases, I put it in a matrix form and I see what is happening with the shipments. From Des Moines, we ship 100 units. From Evansville, we ship 300 units. And for Fort Lauderdale, the maximum capacity can be 366. Why? Because I will spend more money. If I spend less money, how much less? Before I spend 3,900. What is going to happen if I spend less money? If I spend less money, I can copy it and I can paste it. And as I paste it, I want to see it and I want to compare it. And I want to see what is happening with all the cases. What is happening with my shipments? Here I have exactly the same shipments, 100 units. Why? Because the capacity from here is 100. Here I have the shipment 300 units. Why? The capacity is 300 units. Here I have 444. Why? Because I allow higher capacity. I want to do more in that case. Why does this problem gives me more? Because I spent more money. Why this problem gives me more shipment? Because I spent even more money. Does this make sense? When I was back at home in Greece and I had to teach exactly the same class and I didn't have 20 people as many as I have here, but I had 300 people. Did I know what each one was doing or not? Now, every time the tester says something to me, I go on and I look at it. If I had 300 people, I can be able to look at everybody the way I want to do it now. Zas Kovani, do I know your name? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I had a class with 50 people, like the class that I may have next year at Baruch, would I know everybody's name? Maybe. Are you sure? It depends. From what? If you would know it or not, I don't know. How easy is it to know a class with 20 people, 50 people, 300 people? 20. Good. If I have a class only with 10 people, would you learn better or not? Um, this summer, instead of having 20 people, I had 10. Could you be able by July 2nd to know more? Um, I think it would be the same thing. I don't know if the 10 more people makes a difference. I don't know. Alia, what do you think? You would have a more focused learning setting. And as far as you knowing their names, the more people that you have in the class, the less likely you probably be able to know everyone's name. Because my time is limited. An hour and 40 minutes every day. The less people I have in class, the more time I will pay to each one of you. 
if I had only three, would I have exactly the same results on having 30? No, and this is exactly what I get here. If I increase the resources, if I have higher cost, I can spend more. I can have higher results. As long as this is what I really want to do. And what do I want to do here? I want to change my objective. Do I want to focus on the cost? Yes, but now the cost does not drive my problem. My objective drives my problem. What do I want to do? I want to have this as high as possible. If I take this problem and I look exactly at the same problem, but now I change my objective. Instead of getting everything maximum, I can get it minimum. Can I have a solution? I solve it. I want the minimum. Do I get a solution? Do I get a solution? Professor? Yes. Okay. So initially, the one before this, we were maximizing the flow, right? Not the cost, right? You are right. Now I maximize the flow. Now I minimize the flow. Do I have a solution? You would have a solution. Correct. You are right. What is the solution? I want to minimize the flow. Do I minimize the flow? Do you do you change the cost in order to minimize the flow? No, the cost is the same. I have the same cost. But I want to minimize the flow from Fort Lauderdale to Albuquerque. Can I do it? Yes, I have a solution. What is the solution? Is it zero? It is zero. I will make it large. So you can see that it's zero. The question is not that it is zero. It is why is it zero? Why that because is zero? Can you see it? Why is it zero? What Wait. do I want? I don't want anything to be shipped here. Do I ship anything? No. 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 The person that dropped the class yesterday without telling me made a big mistake because she thought that she was not going to get anything. If she would communicating with me, I would say stay in class. You can be able to do it because I will push you. Did I push anybody yesterday? And I said from now on, these are the conditions because I want to stay and do well. Yes, I did. What is happening because I do not have any shipment here? I have a shipment to Boston and I have a shipment to Alpacarki and I have a shipment to Cleveland. Are these shipments comparable to these shipments? No, I have different, I have a different solution. Why do I have a different solution? Because I have different interest, different intensive. Here I want to maximize. I maximize for that cost. I want you to test, do I spend that money? Professor. Yes. So because you're minimizing, right? You don't Correct. need to make any more shipments. Is that the reason why it's zero? Yeah, because I want to minimize. I want to have the least amount of flow from Fort Lauderdale to Alpacarki. 
I want to have the least amount of flow from four locker data of a Kerky for this cost. What is the least that I can have? Zero. Do I get anything? Yes, I have some shipments. I'm going back. What do I do now? I change my objective. Sometimes my objective is to control the cost and do something with that amount of money. And as long as you control the cost and your cost is within this range, you want to see what is happening. And I want to validate the case. What is my cost? My cost is 200 units going from Des Moines to Cleveland. From Des Moines to Cleveland, the cost is three. And I have 300 units going from Evansville to Albuquerque. From Evansville to Albuquerque, the cost is three. And here, I don't need equal, I need plus. And then, I have other 300 units going from Fort Lauderdale to Boston. 300 units from Fort Lauderdale to Boston, the cost is seven. I multiply that by seven. What is my cost? My cost is 300, 3,600. What did I have as a budget? 3,900. What do I do? I save $300. Do I need to save this $300? When I put as an objective to maximize everything, when I put as an objective to maximize everything, then I want to check the cost again. What is the cost? I go on and I look. From Des Moines to Cleveland, I ship 100 units. From Des Moines to Cleveland, the cost is three. And from Eversville to Boston, I ship 200 units. I need to put 200 units from Evansville to Boston. The cost is two. And from Evansville to Cleveland, I ship 100 units. 100 units from Evansville to Cleveland. The cost that I have here is one. And from Fort Lauderdale to Albuquerque, I ship 370 four I need to put plus 374 not point four because I need an integer from Fort Lauderdale to Alpacerki the cost is nine the cost is nine I find out how much is my cost my cost is three thousand eight hundred ninety six dollars what is the difference i need to use decimal points right did i use my budget yes what's the difference four dollars <coughs> as a result i learn a lesson what i can do i can play around with my problem and i move on a new case. What if I put a new facility in Evansville? If I put a new facility in Evansville, I have a new facility in Evansville, then I have to find out how from Des Moines I can ship to Evansville and from Fort Lauderdale I can ship from Evansville. But in Evansville, I don't have to ship anything from the new facility. If I keep everything as balanced case, what is going to happen? I solve the problem and I see what is going to happen. If I make that as a larger problem, I can make it as a larger problem and I can be able to play around with more units so I can see what is happening. <coughs> Making things larger doesn't change anything to the concept and essence of the problem. Making things larger 
it allows me to see things exactly the same way I saw it before, but step by step. If I have here the problem, what do I need to do? I need to see what is my total supply. And I need to see what is my total demand. Is my total demand equal to my total supply? Then I have a balance. If my demand is different than my supply, then I have either excess supply or excess demand. And the last issue, <coughs> what happens to Charlotte and Richmond? Do I have a balanced situation? Everything that comes in comes out. Or do I allow things to have as inventories that case? Or if, can I think about an inventory as a negative item or not? Esther, do I have negative inventories? No. Yes. My daughter gave me a haircut, but she didn't have the machine. She did it only with the scissors. I said, I want the machine to give me a haircut. She went to Amazon and she ordered a haircutting machine. During the last three months, what people did from Amazon, they bought machines to have haircut because I couldn't go to my lady to get a haircut. Did Amazon had any inventories for the machine to get a haircut? They no, they shipped her scissors. They didn't ship her the machine. They kept her money and they kept her order. What did they do? They go on and they order more of what they demand is asking them. So what is a negative inventory? Something that you do not have and you say, hold on a minute, you will do it. What is a negative inventory? You ask me a question, right? And I can give you an answer only if I know it. Can I give you an answer if I don't know it? No, I can say I have to look at it and get to you tomorrow or the day after. That's a negative inventory. I don't give it to you now. I promise that I'll give it to you later on. And I go on and I find how to do it. So if we learn a simple problem, we can be able to deal with more problems. And as we move with more problems, we can get something like that. And you may get a very interesting case that would say that your minimum cannot be attained because you cannot satisfy your constraints. And if you are in that problem, then you hire me as a consultant because the school doesn't pay me to do it and it doesn't go there. But because I'm expensive, you can hire a guy as a consultant after the summer because he's going to figure it out how to do it. And we are done with transportation. Tomorrow we go on to new applications of network problems with respect to allocation of resources. I would like you to send me whatever you did. If your let me go on and see what do I want to do. Uh, professor, that's from the work from, from yesterday, right? Yeah, this is something I gave.